Uh, here we are. Back in my basement. And you know what that means. Proper review. So guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm reviewing Rising from the Grave Goal. Because honestly, I really like this prop. I can actually zoom out on my phone, which I'm really thankful that I got a phone that can zoom out. So, I don't have to stand right next to him. So, this is the Rising from the Grave Goal. I th I'm pretty sure it's Techie Toys. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the reason why I think that is because his poles that you're supposed to snap together, they don't come apart. They don't come apart. And that's usually a Techie Toys thing. So, that's just what I think. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so, here's the guy. Now, I, so if anyone owns him, I do have to tell you some things. I don't know if you already know this, but I have to tell you, um, so you don't, uh, break your prop. Um, now before we get into everything, if you own a prop, um, if you own him or any rising prop like him, then what you got to do is when you put him away to store him, you have to store him in the upright position like this. You cannot leave him laying down. Because when you leave him laying down, his spring stretches out and he doesn't pop back up. I've made that mistake once and on the day of my haunted house, he wouldn't pop up. But I fixed him and he's fine now. So make sure when you store him, you store him up, not laying down. Just want to say that. So, none of you break your prop. Anyways. Since it's Techie Toys, uh, you can't put them back in the box. Um, so, I just use this box to store some of my Limax, um Halloween things. Because I... Yeah. So, this guy, uh, really cool. He's really worth it because you can see here, he was... Forty dollars. This guy is cheaper. This guy is cheaper than the jumping spider. So I honestly think he's worth forty dollars. He's he's way cheaper than the jumping spider. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little because the camera quality sucks when it's zoomed out. I just figured that out. Um, yeah, you can you can automatically see the change. Um, but rising from the grave goal, forty dollars. Cheaper than the Jumping Spider, even at his, um, cheaper price, whatever you want to call it. Um, this guy is, I only, I, I count him as life-size because I only have, like, two life-size animated props, which is the spider, um, well, my, well, my Jumping Spider and this guy, um, and you probably saw my Leatherface video. That's my grandfather's, so I don't really count that as mine, um. He does he does let me borrow it, but it's not it's not really mine. So this guy I'm gonna show you how he works in a second. Um So all you have to do to assemble him is snap his head onto that pole and then that pole onto that pole. And then there is whoop, whoop. Okay, and then there is an A uh, not an A. Um a B wire and a B wire here. You just wanna connect those. Because that is what lights his face up. Because his whole entire face lights up. It's cool. Yeah. Um, you can hook up a 6-volt adapter. And you can also hook up a foot pad to him. Um... So, you don't always have him going off. Which is kind of annoying. Um, unlike the Jumping Spider, this guy has um, ports for uh, four legs. But really, he only comes with one. And that goes on the A spot. I don't know why he only comes with one leg, but whatever. Um, there's a Velcro here, and on the front, you just want to snap him on to keep his clothes down. And then there's also a Velcro, pretty sure there's one on the back too. Yeah, there's one here, and on the foot, there's actually a Velcro under the foot, and you would hook that up there. Um, but I, I think all five, of my um foot pieces are in my jumping spider box um because he won't go back in his box now the jumping spider will 
because he's already assembled when he comes, so he has to fit in the box. Um, anyways, I really love this guy. I think he's totally worth it. Um, he's, he's not being sold anymore. Uh, they, they made him, I think, in 2017, 2018. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, because I remember, um, uh, I remember my dad, um, he bought him for me, because I got an A on my States and Capitals test, which, if you guys haven't taken that, it's, <sighs> it's painful. So, he bought him for me, since he's cheap, and he put him in my bedroom. Scared me a little bit. I love this guy. Anyways, um... If, if you can find him in a Spear Halloween store, if they have him from years prior, then I recommend you buy him. There are also different versions that are sold at, like, Target and stuff. But I honestly like this guy better, because if you see the other faces on the other guys, they don't look as good as his face, in my opinion. So, uh, I'm going to turn him on, and then I'm going to activate him for you. Um, yeah, so I... My foot pad sadly broke. I don't, I don't know, but it broke, so I can't use it. And I use that with him and my spider, because I like that better than sensor, because then he'd activate all the time. Anyways, I'm gonna put my foot on his base since I don't have a since I don't have the foot. turn him off real quick because i forgot to plug in uh his um his face light up wires i um i unplugged them because oh no i, I guess i was using him and i didn't want his face wires on I, I don't know what i was doing with him but uh i really i really like his phrases i i just want to say his first phrase his first phrase is my favorite. I think he has, like, three. I think he has three. I'll play through them all. But I love, especially his first one. And I think I think he'd be good to use in a cemetery, like, behind a tombstone. Or, like, right in front of the cemetery. He's really good. See, and now his face is lighting up. Now, he said that phrase because I turned him off, and when you turn him off and back on, he, he loops the phrases. So, I'll play him again. Alright, I think there's one more. I think that was his last phrase, but I have to activate him one more time, because like I said, turn him off when he's in the upright position. I don't know how many people broke their props by leaving him down. I don't know how many people, but I bet it's a lot, because I've done it before. <laughs> yeah, that's his phrase again. Um, So this guy, he has three phrases. He'd be really cool to use in a cemetery. Um, I... I use them in my grandparents' cemetery every year, because every year they have a cemetery in their lawn and on a porch, and on their porch is just, like, a mixture of witches and pirates and stuff like that. Um, but I, I usually have to use him in my grandparents' cemetery. It scares a lot of people. <laughs> I honestly, like, I don't think this year I'm going to go trick-or-treating, because, honestly, I want to buy a couple more props, and if the corona is over by Halloween, um... I'm not gonna go trick or treating. Well, I'm, I I think I'm gonna skip out, cause I want to scare people, and like I want to activate my props. 
because uh, my jumping spider, I have to look after him because he is one of the most annoying props in the world. Every single time he jumps up, I, I have to push his head. I, I have to give his head a little push for him to go down. So he's broken. So I have to like sit next to him and push his head down. Like I, I don't have to push it down all the way. I, I just have to get a little, I, I just have to give it a little nudge and then it will go down. I'll make a video on that later. Um, but this is the rising of the grave goal. Rising from the grave goal. I'm sorry. I. If you ever uh, hear me call him rising reaper or something along those lines, something reaper, rising reaper. I, I usually call him the rising reaper. <laughs> I, I never really call him the rising from the grave goal. So don't so don't mind that. Don't correct me in the comment section every single time I say that. I just I'm just used to saying it. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I noticed on my pirate video, I got um, I got more dislikes than likes. I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to see in the pirate video. If there is anything else you want to see, I realized YouTube disabled my comments, which I hate them for that. Because uh, I I really I really want to hear what you guys think. And I'd rather my comments be turned on. Um, so I looked back at my Leatherface video and I realized that his comments are still on. So if there's anything you want to comment in any video, just um, just tell me what it is in the Leatherface video. I'll be checking his video comments often. And also I got the YouTube app so I will be notified when somebody leaves me a comment. So I'll get back to it um, as soon as I can. Um, yeah, but like I said, uh, the pirate video, if there's anything you guys want to see, because I got more dislikes than likes, and I don't know if I left out anything um, that that you guys want to see of him, I will bring him out again if you comment in my Leatherface video. If there's anything else you want to see, I'll, I'll I'll bring him out again. Um, and I, I, I do actually have the instructions. And the price tag... No, you know what? I don't think I showed you guys the price tag. There you go. Let me, let me show you instructions real quick. Because I think YouTube has a limit of 15 minutes, and I'm already at 12 minutes, so I gotta make this quick. I think I think I skipped the instructions. I I think I just held the instructions down. I don't think I actually showed you. Um, but he's supposed to stand at six feet. Um, but I I don't know if I said um, I don't know if I said he um he doesn't stand anymore because I got two of them from my aunt and uncle, and they and they didn't have the stand. Um. So, uh, I'll show you the price tag on one real quick. Because I think I only have the price tag on one of them. Uh, yeah, here he is. Spirit, Standing Pirate. I flip it over. $200. It's really blurry. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, we well, you can... It's really annoying. Y you can see the $199. No, there, there you go. Yeah, but I have two of them, torso of one, torso of the other. I have, like, I have them mixed up everywhere. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching my video, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you all in my next video. My next video, I, um, um, I think I have a couple more props to review, um, that I have, and I, I don't know if I told you guys, but I make a haunted house for my birthday, and my birthday's coming up in a couple months. So that means I'm going to go on Spirit Halloween's website, and I am going to order, actually, two or three more props. Um, I'm thinking about doing a forest theme this year, um, and if there are any props that you guys recommend, go to my other video. But um, the two props I'm thinking about getting is Sitting Scarecrow and, um, and Deadly Roots. I really wanted to get Rusty. He's one of my favorite props. But I read a couple comments, and he he breaks. And also, I don't like his violent motion, um, because his violent motion might break him. So I'd rather not pay two hundred dollars for him, and then have him break a couple of days after I buy him. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.